How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Razor Claw 2. It's an Eagle McMahon Signature Series Vapor Tactic. And many of you rem remember the Razor Claw 1 was also a Vapor Tactic. So the plastic here is going to be exactly the same as, as it was on the Razor Claw 1. No difference there. The biggest difference that we have is the actual shape of the disc. Discmania went ahead and made the decision to retool this tactic and by the feel of it it feels like the disc is a little deeper this outside wall feels a little higher so there's a little bit more to grab onto and it feels like the disc might be a little bit more stable with less glide it has a pretty flat top for the most part which is again very similar to what the Razor Claw 1 was and I'm excited to throw this side by side with the original Razor Claw and see you know how they compare to one another. So let's go check it out. So starting off we're gonna be throwing both of these discs flat to a slight bit of Anheuser on the forehand. You see how the Razor Claw 1 holds that angle for a while uh, compared to the Razor Claw 2, which fights out of that Anheuser much more quickly. Here I'm throwing the discs flat, and there's going to be similar flight paths here and difficult to see, but as you can see, the Razor Claw 2 just doesn't get the same distance as the Razor Claw 1 does. That lack of glide really pushes it down to the ground much faster. And on these, I'm trying to put a little extra power or more snap on the disc. And you can see right there in the middle of the flight, the Razor Claw 1 just turned over just a little bit and it can't handle that extra power. Moving on to a backhand, the Razor Claw 2 immediately wants to hyzer out of the Anheuser that I put on it. And the Razor Claw 1 just holds that S line for a little bit longer, giving it that extra carry. Both of these discs are going to be pretty similar on the hyzer not much difference in this category. And on a flat low shot with a little bit of Anheuser, we're gonna see the Razor Claw kind of holds that line and finishes left. And the Razor Claw 2 is just gonna want to fight out of that Anheuser again just really fast and get to the ground. Here we have some actual on the course shots. So given the stability of this Razor Claw 2, I feel confident throwing it with more power, more spin than the Razor Claw 1. You can see it fight back here even though it hits a tree and any kind of hyzer inside of 250 feet, uh, this disc is going to execute that shot really well. So there you guys have it. There's a little comparison between the Razor Claw 1 and 2. Um, the biggest difference for me is when I'm throwing the disc hard, I can tell on both the backhand and the forehand that this disc glides less. It wants to get to the ground faster and I'm unable to flip it up to flat on both backhand or forehand. So it makes it a little bit more dependable and consistent uh, when you want to keep that hyzer angle at around 200 and 250 feet because at about 150 feet and less, I, there's not that much of a difference between the two discs because you're not throwing them very hard or with much spin. But beyond that 150 to 200 foot mark, 
you can really see the difference between the two discs. Uh, I want to thank Hazy Shade Disc Golf for um, letting me get this disc to put the review out. And this disc comes out on November 3rd, so make sure you visit discmania.net or your local retailer like mine here in Dayton, Ohio, Hazy Shade Disc Golf, and pick, your guy, pick yourself up a Razor Claw 2. Um, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel next. You can like this video, comment, subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you guys in the next one.